All I can picture is you guys having sex, and I'm trying to see <laughs> okay. it. Okay. <laughs> I'm Should trying we do it for the to see it. Yeah, okay. Well, that right was here. my that was my question was, are you going to tease that? Because the sister wives, nobody wants to see that. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, ain't nobody like, yes. Well, you guys. Yeah, hey, what's up, you guys? Yes, welcome to the most fucked up date night you've ever seen. Are you ready? So ready. <laughs> uh, yes, today we are going to do something very stupid and uh, very scary, and that's because I asked you guys, hey, what should we do today? Because I wanted to film us having some kind of adventure, some kind of fun date night. I thought you guys would tweet me like, oh, go to mini golf, or go see a movie, or go get drunk. No, all of you guys wanted us to go somewhere haunted, abandoned, or illegal. So I did some Googling, and I found a very scary place in LA that I've never been to. It is an underground tunnel system that's abandoned and it's very much illegal like we are not supposed to go in so here we go are you sure it's illegal yeah wait by the way can we just talk about what you're looking at on your phone what is that speaking of scary oh fuck actually i look really good you look busted as fuck whoa now i know technically this is something i would do with garrett and drew but i feel like i need to do this with you at least once like i need to know that you are my rider die and like emphasis on die <laughs> Wait, you think we're gonna die? I don't know, but I wanna know that you could die with me and be chill about it. See, I'm not into this kind of stuff normally. That's why I let you, Garrett, and Drew normally do your thing, because I'm not into ghosts or paranormal activity because it freaks me out, so I try to pretend that it's not real. But you know that it is real and there's probably a demon living inside me. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think they seem to follow you, honestly, because ever since I've known you, things around you seem to be haunted, but I pretend that that doesn't happen. Right. Well, let's go find more ghosts, and maybe some of them will cling on to you. Uh, ghost couple goals. Have you ever been anywhere illegal before? I don't think so, but I've got my Britney Spears outfit on, I've got my beauty blogging camera, I'm ready to go. Oh my god. Some gay demon is gonna fuck you. <laughs> and that gay demon is me. <laughs> so we are in the LA subway system, which I've never been in, and we have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> do you have any idea what to do? Nope. Perfect. So we are here and we're trying to get here. So I have no idea what to do. Should we just drive? <laughs> uh -oh. oh my god. Imagine how many people jump in front of these trains. What? Yeah, it's one of the most popular ways that people kill themselves. That's so sad. Why is there fucking skeletons and angels of death? <laughs> is this trying to tell us something? Oh my god. Alright, here we go. To our death. Hogwarts. What? We're going to Hogwarts. Who are you? <laughs> I don't even watch Harry Potter. <laughs> I haven't read any of the books. Here we go. I wonder if any of these trains have ever crashed. I hope not. Oh my god. <laughs> it's my actual nightmare. I thought all the power just went out. Um, that was fucking horrifying. <laughs> Literally crazy. First of all, listen, I'm not knocking public transportation. It's great. Whenever I go to New York, uh, I use it. There was something about that specific train. Number one, it was way too loud and like, literally sounded like we were going to crash. Like, I kept having flashbacks of that scene in Final Destination where the whole subway blew up. <laughs> Yeah, bitch, that could have been us. Also, there was like people on there that wanted to kill me. I'm not crazy, right? No, a guy got off and started yelling at Shane and then pointing no. down. For, okay, first of all, for no reason, we're just sitting there not talking to anybody, like just, you know, being cool. This guy looks at me as he's walking out of the train and then walks out of the train, stands by the window where I am and just starts knocking on it. And I look over and then he goes, like, what the fuck does that mean? Does he know we're going underground? Is he a demon? Also, I thought the whole point of public transportation was to be quick, and that took triple the time it would have taken <laughs> in a car. But we got triple the scares. <laughs> All right, we're getting some food and alcohol because I feel like we are going to need to be drunk to go through this haunted tunnel situation. Here's to dying underground. Guys, we have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Jake <We're>, got drunk. <laughs> You're drunk too. No, I had one margarita that was very strong. You had two. I literally feel, what? I'm fucking me. I don't know. I literally feel like I have superpowers. Oh, sorry. Everybody's so nice here. I don't get why people are afraid of this city. You know what I mean? 
Okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> let's make friends. Yeah, let's do that. How about you make friends with the next person you see? I saw a lady smoking something out of a spoon. I want to be her bestie. Uh, I'm fucking drunk. I literally am so drunk. This is bad. We're, wait, wait. First of all, it's illegal anyways to go to these underground tunnels. But isn't it also illegal to be drunk in public? Are we going to get arrested mm -hmm. twice? I don't think they can make it illegal to be drunk in public. <laughs> it's walkable. Public intoxication, bitch. I'm drunk and even I know that's illegal. <laughs> Who is that? Is that a friend? Oh no, I'm so drunk. How are we gonna do this? Do you know where we're going? Kind of, I have an address. Oh no. Guys, this is gonna get weird. We're in a taxi because I'm too drunk to walk. And it's like a mile away. Ghost hunting is hard when you're drunk. Ooh, there's for your... You have a flashlight? Well, yeah, we're going to a dark tunnel. What else you got in that <laughs> little purse? <laughs> well, it's not a purse, it's my Britney jacket. I'm inspired by... Wait, what is that? This is a headlamp. You have a fucking headlight? Yeah. Who are you? Prepared. I think I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> okay, so we just got out of the cab. I'm very drunk. But also, literally, where are we? <laughs> Why are there so many angels where we're going? Are we actually gonna die? I hope not. I mean, I kind of hope so. Imagine how epic the video would be. Nobody would have it to upload. Who's gonna come downtown to find your phone and upload it? One of them! <laughs> so we are close. It says that we have to walk behind a music center and into a secret elevator. So supposedly behind the Hall of Records is a hidden elevator. They're missing the D. Oh my God. <laughs> Me when I'm missing the D. Me when I found it! Oh, maybe that's the Is that the hidden elevator? Oh my god. This is actually kind of scary and I'm drunk. This is not a good combo. Hold on, wait, is that it? Not going in there. <laughs> Don't try it. You're right. That's close for good. Is that it? I'm running into spiderwebs like it's my job. Wait, you think it's down there where literally all the cops <laughs> in LA are? I ain't drunk enough of this. I'm pretty sure it's back there. Fuck. I'm pretty sure it's back there, but there's like literally 5,000 cops. Really? A cop <laughs> That's what you're trying to find? Wow. Fuck, what are we gonna do? We promised them hidden tunnels. We can't be too stupid to find them. Well, no, I think they were down there. Well, now the security guards are following us. Fuck, ugh. I wanted to find something scary. I wanted to die. What are we gonna do? I don't know, we're still looking. We're not giving up hope just yet. I don't know, I'm not trying to get arrested. Okay, that is the scariest thing I've ever seen. What the fuck? Just a lone chair. Ugh, what's down here? Oh wait, oh that's water. Everything about this place is creepy as fuck. Okay, so I just did some Googling and I found out that those elevators we saw earlier actually do take you down to the tunnels. So we're gonna try this. Listen, the security guard has been following us the whole time. Should we just be honest with him and be like, listen, bro, we're trying to find some secret demons. Well, only if he stops us. I just think we keep doing our thing. And then if he's like, yo, then we say, okay, we're gonna be real if you help us find these tunnels, bro. God, I love when you're a badass. Dude, what is this music? <laughs> this is fucking terrifying. Maybe the elevator's out of service. Fuck no, are you kidding me? No, 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 no. That's some hostile shit. Are you fucking kidding me? No, nah, 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 nah. Literally, what the fuck is this place? Look at the office chair. <laughs> Okay, so we have tried every way of getting inside. It's been an hour. We've literally been trying to open up every single door. Nothing's working, um, but I have a backup plan. So I did a video a few months ago about the Cecil Hotel where that woman was last seen on the security camera in the elevator and she was going in and out of it. And then she went missing. And then like two weeks later, she was found dead in the water tank. But not only did that happen at that hotel, a bunch of other shit happened there. They even renamed it and like redid the whole thing because it had such a bad reputation. But it's the hotel that American Horror Story is based on. There was a serial killer who lived there and like killed people and then came back to the hotel to go to sleep. It's really fucked up. A bunch of people have killed themselves there. So I'm thinking it's on the way home. We might as well stop by. <laughs> we could sleep over. No. <laughs> I hear their water is great. Okay, so we made it to the hotel. It's still fucking creepy. We changed the name of it to Stay instead of Cecile. But I was doing some research on it in the car. Supposedly 15 people have died here. Did you hear that? 15 people have died here. What? <laughs> yeah. Also the Black Dahlia. This is the last place supposedly that she was ever seen before she got chopped up. Should we go inside? <laughs> well, yeah. <sighs> oh my God. Everything about this place is fucking creepy. 
everything's like abandoned. So we can't get in because we don't have a key card. So. It's weird though because there's a lot of restaurants and stuff that are attached to the hotel but they're all closed down. Right. But the main hotel is still open. Well, supposedly just two years ago a guy's body was found right there. That explains why they have seven cameras above us. Literally. <laughs> it looks like they're tearing down everything. Is the whole hotel, like, abandoned? <laughs> or does it just look abandoned? Also, side note, as we were driving here, we uh, saw about 17 drag queens run across the street, and then we realized that drag con is happening right there. And we didn't go. Should we go right now? I mean, what is this date night turning into? Demons, ghosts, drag queens. Ugh, fucking date night goals. Oh, fuck, there it is. The original logo. Oof. Ooh, they just gave me the chills. Okay, so I just called the hotel. It's closed until 2019. What? Yeah, they're tearing it down and redoing the whole thing. But they have somebody sitting inside there? You could not pay me to do that job. Fuck. That's crazy. So this is the second time they've like torn it down and redone it. That must mean that the ghosts are fucking real. I don't know if you can come back from that. <gasps> There's a guard right there, but I just want to see a little bit more. Oof. Oof. Okay, we gotta go. Well guys, we're back in the car. I'm not gonna lie, that was kind of a fail. <laughs> kind of? Okay, listen, I'm proud of us for doing something different. You know what we normally do? We usually sit on the couch, eat frozen yogurt, fart. <laughs> but tonight we actually went out and did something. We went on a subway. We went to a bunch of haunted, abandoned places. Yeah. I feel like that's good for us. But because I feel like we didn't give you guys a real haunted video like you were expecting, we might as well just, you know, give you guys an impromptu boyfriend tag. <laughs> Question number one, what's your favorite color? No, it's supposed to be like, where did you meet? No, they don't care about that. Well, my favorite color is blue, but they don't That's care. my fucking favorite color. No, I, um, you were born first, fuck. What's your favorite thing about the other person? Um, your fake eyelashes. I don't have... Why are I you know. starting that rumor? No, 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 because they're so good that I always have a conspiracy theory that they're fake because they're crazy. Oh my god. Fucking, I'm a lizard person and I have fake eyelashes? What? Shh. <laughs> oh my god, though, for real, we saw a lizard get its tail chopped off today by a bird. I have photos. I have receipts. Last question. Where's your favorite place to go pee? Oh, definitely outside next to Uno. I have proof. <laughs> See, that's real. He actually pees outside with a dog. What a queen. All right, guys, go. Hopefully you enjoyed this date night vlog venture slash fail. Side note, uh, some big exciting fucking announcements. Ryland's YouTube channel, which has been dead, some might say abandoned and haunted, <laughs> for a long time is back. I mean, it wasn't ever really there to begin with. So we did a video over on his channel where he is Kylie Jenner for the day. I filmed it and edited it. I'm very proud of it. I feel like it's funny and I'm feeling like I did a really good job like creating the vision. <laughs> it's very weird. It's the weirdest fucking thing you've ever seen. Uh, so go check it out. Subscribe and watch the video of him in a wig and a dress popping his pussy. Guys, go check it out. I'll put a link right in the top of the description below. And uh, if you guys want us to do any other date night adventures, maybe not scary stuff because we're not very good at that. I mean, like, you're not very good at that. No, I think next time we do something like this, we need to make sure that it's going to work before we leave the house. Okay, me with everything. <laughs> <laughs> but also, I'm going to leave the scary videos to you, Garrett and Drew. I like doing pretty things like eating or going to <laughs> Vegas. Popping your pussy. Popping my pussy. Guys, hope you had fun with us. We had fun with you. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you want more weird date night adventures. And subscribe to my channel right down below because I make new videos every day. And uh, we're going to go to sleep. Bye, guys. Stop. <laughs>